Hey, welcome everybody. It's Bubba Solo here from Bubba Solo Gaming, and today I'm hunting in Medved at night, and it's a cold night, and I'm hunting Eurasian lynx I'm by a little lake where I've killed a moose and bear, and I guess Siberian musk deer today, and suddenly there are all these lynx that have been talking to me too. It's time to shoot one. I have my Alexander longbow here, and I have it loaded with the 350 grain arrows. There's the first shot. How about this in slow motion? Looks like a vital, I mean, that vital blood there. Okay. So there's one. One Eurasian lynx. And there are more still calling. There are more still calling around here. Plus there's a Siberian musk deer that's been calling to me a ton too. Not sure what that one wants. It's a female and she hasn't been coming when I've been calling her. You say, how are you calling a musk deer? Well, I have who's deer and the musk deer like the elk call. So look at this, another lynx coming in. And you know, lynx are pretty crafty and they also notice you. And right now this area is already Pink. I have overhunted it. I've destroyed the need zones. I, I was kind of foolish earlier. I got excited about something, but for whatever reason, the lynx and other critters keep coming in here. I have a map at the very end of this video that you can look at. Shot. There we go. How about that in slow motion. And how did that do? It looks like another vital. See how far this thing runs. Yeah, it's well, it's going down slowly, more slowly than that last one. With the 350 grain ammo, another lynx calling at me. With the uh, 350 grain ammo, that it just doesn't. Those arrows don't penetrate that well. It's frustrating because the the 540 grain penetrate really well in the class appropriate animals. The 700s penetrate super well in class appropriate animals, but the 350s, they just don't, they don't have the penetration that I'd like. Look at this. I can see another one slinking around over here. Yep, right there. Another one. I haven't moved. I shot two links. Here comes another one. Eurasian lynx. Give me a nice broadside. There we go. And in slow motion. Let's see how this goes. That looked really darn good to me. Let's see how far that one goes. That one's dropping pretty fast. I think that's done right there. Okay, so that's three from one spot. The wind was bad for whatever Lynx was talking to me from over there, over yonder. But I've, I've heard a Lynx out that way, and I've heard one back behind me over here. Look at how pink that is. I've, I've shot too much stuff over here. Shot too much stuff over here. Let's go start picking some of these up. So it's three links. I hate it when I shoot more than two things in one spot. Two things I can usually keep track of. But when it's three critters that I'm tracking, that's kind of a problem for me. I need to start writing down what I've shot. Okay, here's something out there. I'm pretty sure there's a links out there. Let me go back to my trusty tree here. Look at this little dinky tree that if I'm crouched in it, I got pretty low visibility. Look at that, nothing. I got zero visibility in that little dinky Charlie Brown tree. I'll take it, whatever. So I'm very, very well hidden. And there it is, there's another lynx coming right in. The nice thing about using the bow, they fixed the Alexander longbow so that it doesn't spook like it used to. So it has the same spook radius, I think, as the other bows in the game, which is nice. 
Oh, that was a little far forward. I can see that's a little far forward. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that works out. So off it runs and yeah, it's not dropping 75 to a hundred percent. That was a shoot again. Now missed it. Anyway, that one I may not get that it's, it's not dropping fast. I must've gotten a really bad shot on that one. I'm going to turn on the tracks here so that I can actually see better where all these critters are. I'll run through the woods here on fast forward and pick up the first one. I think these were all just uh, females and either one or two. So not looking for any amazing critter, female common. Yeah, it's just a bronze, but flesh left lung. Not much penetration. Look at that. Barely went in there with the 350 grain arrows. Just barely got a lung. We'll fast forward again. Get out to the next one that I shot. Right, so that was a vital again. Definitely got vital organs. And there we are. I'm using those tracer arrows, so they should have great visibility. I said Siberian muskox talk, musk deer talking to me. Left lung, right lung. So there we got much more penetration. I'm not sure exactly why. And we're going to go out and pick up this last one. That uh, musk deer was still talking to me. I was thinking about trying to call it in, but it, it got reluctant on me. So let's go pick this one up. Just the left lungs. It barely got in there. Barely touched left lung. So that's this is the other one. You'll see it's got the tracer arrow stuck in it. I tracked it for a long way and it went totally opposite direction. I'm at the other end of this lake. I'm probably 300 meters from where I was before. And this thing somehow ran back in the woods and then back over to the other side of the lake. And I spooked it. I was trying to get it, put it out of its misery. And I spooked it and it ran down to the other end of the lake, kind of near where I first shot it. And you see it's at between 25 and 50% health. I don't see the arrow in it anymore. Maybe it shook out as it ran away. I don't know. But I'd like to put this thing out of its misery. Here I have the muzzle loader with the round ball loaded. And the round ball is good for class 3 to, what is it, 3 to 7. So I should get integrity if I can shoot it and hit it in a vital organ. should get integrity and pass the harvest check. Now, I can see that there's a problem already because... If I had hit it with the muzzle or hit it well, it wouldn't have been glowing. It wouldn't have been running away. It would have dropped right there. So I, uh, I didn't get a vital organ there either. This poor thing, this poor thing. I've shot it twice non-fatally. There it goes, running away. Goodness gracious. Well, it's down to zero to 25. So I, I certainly hit it and it's going to die. There, it just died. Okay. So I'll run over here and pick this up. Put it on fast forward as I sprint across this lake like a superhuman. This poor thing. And there's that dang Siberian musk deer still talking to me. It wants my companionship, but it just won't come near. All right, so you see I just got flesh on that first shot. Not much penetration. Didn't get anything. And then I'll scroll down here so we can see the second shot. I got a skull shot. So I shot a little bit high, shot it in the face. Ah, this poor lynx. Anyway, finally got it. So that's the first four lynx that I shot with a bow. And I've been hearing, a, there's this other lynx that's been talking a little bit off to the left over here. And there it came in. I called it a little bit and it came in. And I just want to get a good, clean, clean shot on this thing. I got out the muzzle loader. I already have the proper ammo loaded. And that right there is a clean kill. See its body just lying there. So with the round ball ammo, the appropriate ammo in the muzzle loader, I was able to effectively shoot that lynx and end its life uh, humanely, shall we say? It's just a digital animal anyway. 
confirm this trophy. And it's a silver. That's pretty good. It's a female. So level three female. And we got, of course, left lung, right lung. Good shot. Good clean kill. Hey, here's the map of Medved where all these kills happened. If you'd like to subscribe, please click here. And to watch more videos, click over here.